Senator Al Franken, who, as we'll hear momentarily, whenever he speaks in any way, still sounds like he's doing comedy, mm -hmm. even when he's talking about very sober issues. He says that net neutrality is just about the biggest First Amendment issue of our time. I think the more I read about it, and as confusing as it is, or as, you know, as inside baseball as it is, uh, he may be right. Um, he was at South by Southwest in Austin, mm -hmm. the film festival, uh, where are What the Flick critics, uh, Alonzo Duralde and Christy Lemire are. Uh, and he spoke about this to a, a very receptive audience of you know, filmmakers who want to get their stuff out on the internet. and uh, It's a big deal. So real quick, here's a little snippet. We'll talk about net neutrality and how important it is, but here's a little snippet of uh, Al Franken uh, doing, an interview, uh, with, uh, doing an interview with TechCrunch, uh, which, and we're stealing their interview. So thank you, TechCrunch. Here's, uh, here's Al Franken issue and she said yeah and I, I believe it is because um, you know these these mega corporations that will own the pipes and that do own the pipes will have you know certain uh, in you know uh, political interests that are aligned and uh, I worry that eventually all the content the yeah all of the content will be under their control. Doesn't it still seem like he's <laughs> like doing a bit always? No, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's a big issue. I, I think, but you know, I don't think Verizon and Comcast have enough money yet, so they need to game the system to make more money off us. If you don't know what net neutrality is, and I think that uh, all of our, just about everybody who watches this stuff and watches the Young Turks probably knows, but Al Franken, in fact, explained it as easily as it can be explained. Uh, suggesting, uh, first of all, that uh, shows like the Young Turks that, uh, or blogs that people make will show up as quickly on your computer when you're home or on any wireless system that you're using, whether you're in Starbucks or whether you're at home, that it will show up as quickly as the New York Times or Fox News. And he said New York Times or Fox News just to make it clear that mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not a liberal point of view, uh, which it isn't in any way. It's just about content. Or that if you had a mom and pop hardware store, that your website would come up just as quickly as Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. His fear, obviously, is that corporate America gets a hold of this, makes these it's a deals. Very valid fear. Then all of a sudden, only things from big people, big corporations, and people with money. Everything else goes much slower, and that obviously drives you to the stuff mm -hmm. from. Uh, so, wh why is this hard to get across to people? Oh, because people just haven't experienced it yet. Once they do, and they're paying a lot more for their gaming, and they can't download content that they want as quickly. They're, part of it is they want to control the online medium and where you get your information, but they also want to prevent file sharing. They, believe it or not, file sharing takes up half the internet. Is that right? Yeah, 50%. I've, uh, this is actually something I know a little bit about. I've oh, worked nice. with a company that works with different um, groups and monitors the the peer-to-peer -peer, like a, it re-centralizes the decentralized open source networks um, every day there's 1.6 billion searches on the peer-to-peer -peer. it's 50 percent of internet traffic um, and what corporate America doesn't fully understand especially the media companies is that the people who do the downloading are more likely to buy your content than people who don't but they've been targeting it relentlessly for years because the record industries and everyone else thinks they had a God-given right to charge everybody $14.99 for one fucking good song on an album. <laughs> By the way, John Bon Jovi says that Steve Jobs uh, dude, ruined... Fuck John Bon Jovi, dude. Ruined He's not rich music. enough already. Whatever, man. Whatever. Without Steve Jobs, they'd have been fucked. Really, I mean, think about it. In, he took away that, the album experience, dude, says Bon Jovi. Most of the albums suck. Most songs on most albums suck. And you were paying $14 for it. Why shouldn't I be able to pay 99 cents for the one song that's good? Why should I have to buy all the shit with it? Al Franken in the Senate wants to pass a bill that strengthens the FCC rules about controlling net neutrality. He doesn't think the FCC uh, has enough power and he wants to strengthen the rules. The House, of course, passes a, under the Republican control now, John Boehner's House, uh, passes a law that the Senate won't approve, that actually weakens the already weak rules. I mean, mm -hmm. Republicans just want to say to Verizon, and they want to say to Comcast, and they want to say to Time Warner, 
yeah, what you said at the beginning. You guys, you guys aren't rich enough. How can we help? Well, I, mean, I don't think it's going to be a newsflash to anybody in America, but success in large corporations and business is determined by how you can game the government and the laws and regulations that are passed. That's how it works. Do you think net neutrality would resonate more with people if it had a better name? Like, it doesn't mean no, anything. It, it is. It is. Net neutrality means it's neutral. The content is neutral. So that you have the same rights to get every piece of it. One thing they say is the leave the internet alone, save the internet. I don't know. It needs something that's not net neutrality. It doesn't have the word neutrality in it. That may be accurate. You mm -hmm. can still call it that, but that's not the kind of... I, I don't Cause What, because Americans don't like the idea of neutral? <laughs> they don't like the idea is? of neutral. I just don't see that as a... You know, there's some reason why this hasn't resonated with people who will obviously be incredibly bothered when they can't get their blog as quickly as they can get the latest products for their iPhone. How about Patriot Net Freedom? <laughs> Good one. That'll work. Patriot Net Freedom. Why not? Time for the Patriot Net Freedom Act right now. Right now.